Hey everybody, welcome back to the Scott Spot. I'm Scott and you're watching The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I don't think... Eh, well, never mind. I was gonna stop at Beetle Shop Shift, but there's gonna be another one before we need it, so... Let me check my bait real quick, just to be sure. I don't wanna end up needing bait and not having any. We should be fine as long as I don't waste any. Okay, so here we are back on Windfall Island, uh, the busiest island on the Great Sea. Despite how thorough we've been with our side quests here up to this point, we still have plenty to do here. I don't think it'll take up the whole video, but uh, it will take up a fair bit. Okay, so first of all, we haven't been to the cafe at night yet, so let's check that out. Walk up in the club, like, what up, I gotta... Oh, my God. Uh, so sorry, uh, uh wrong club. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man, I've been waiting forever to make that joke. So, yeah, at night, the sailors and the... Swabbies and the crewmen take over the bar. Just a second there, kid. Look, this isn't any time for a kid like you to be coming in here. Just trust me, okay? Go on now, go home. Wow, what's the big deal? These guys look friendly enough. Don't you know? The hooded guy who runs the little stall downstairs. I think his name is Kazunari. Anyway, he's been hiding an incredible treasure down there. That's what he says anyway, something incredible. The fact is, he comes up here all the time just to brag about it. To be honest, I'm pretty tired of hearing about it, whatever it is. Well, you sure forgot about me being in danger here. Yeah, yeah. I didn't need to hear anything else. Alright, so let's talk to uh, these sailors, see what they got to say. Here we got Kane. We've we've met it all. The, we've met him before. <laughs> what are you doing in a place like this at such a late hour? Isn't it bedtime for all the little brats? Rude, rude ass. I'm gonna. No, I want to smash his dishes, but I don't think I can. There's Dampa. Ah, oh, nothing better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Nothing. Yeah. Speaking of, that is a big coffee mug. Or should I say, milk mug? Heh. <laughs> we got, uh, candy here. Squid. You ever been all ate up by one of the squid out in the Great Sea? I sure have. Oh, yeah. Don't you go lying now. Why, stick any other sailor out there in my position and he'd be belly up. He'd have been finished. Finished, I'm telling you. It's a darn good thing I'm about as rough and tumble a sailor as you'll ever meet. Oh, you better believe it. Sure. You're the only one to ever deal with a big octo. Let's see what he says if I say no. Imagine if somebody started a conversation with you in a bar by just saying the word squid. <laughs> this one time, our ship got caught in this giant whirlpool, you get me? And what's there waiting for us in the middle of it? The giantest squid you ever seen. Giantest, really? All over its body, the thing had these beady, gnarly, glowing eyes. And I don't even know what was going on with its tentacles. Now that I'm digging on it, those were the squirreliest eyes I've ever seen. If I ever come across that beastie again, I'll whale him in the eyes. That's what I'll do. So wait, you didn't attack his eyes before? Oh god, I gotta go through, go through it again. So does that mean that you got chewed up and spit out? Like the like I did the once or twice? So, anyway, we haven't actually met this sailor yet. Um, his name is Loot, and he doesn't live on Windfall during the day. Hey, have you ever seen what I call the Frightening Fishman? Check this out. The other day I was out at sea on a cruise, and without thinking much about it, I tossed some leftover bait out on the waves. And you will never guess what happened. Did a, did a living, talking fish appear? This fishy-looking thing popped up on the surface, but it was no ordinary fish. It had this weird human-looking smile on its face, and it just gobbled up the bait. The ocean is so very vast. Many mysterious things that we've yet to even dream of live, lie sleeping beneath its waves. Yeah, I guess so. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you could actually see out that window in the original game. Uh, I can't. I don't know. So yeah, that's what happens in the cafe at night. Just a little something extra for you. All right, so let's get on with our side quests. First of all, let's go visit uh, Linzo, shall we? See what if he has anything new to say. Linzo. Ah, young Link. Our pictograph's not the most divine of creations. You know it is true, my young sir. 
You too must snap and snap and snap pictographs until you, like me, finally arrive at the very pinnacle of pictography. What makes you so sure uh, you're at the pinnacle, Gramps? Anyway, we should turn over this forest firefly now. Finally. So we can finally empty this bottle. Is... is that... What a curious luminescence! Is that truly one of the long-fabled forest fireflies from Forest Haven? It sure is. My fine assistant, Link. For ages it has been said that the forest fireflies possess a mystical power. In the old days they were required for making colored pictographs, but no longer. That's a reference to uh, the original Wind Waker, in which you did have to have a forest firefly to get the deluxe picto box. I'd hate to see you leave with nothing after you went so much trouble to show it to me. I'll offer you this. The elderly lady next door tells me it has value of sorts. Joy Pendant. Yeah, yeah, so not worth much, but uh, I figured I'd show that off. From here onward, you must travel the world, spreading the joy of pictography to all around. And as your heart swells with this satisfaction, perhaps I'll have more pictographs to share. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, so every time you bring him a forest firefly, he gives you a joy pennant in exchange. Nothing too special, but hey. And that's about all we can do here at night. Uh, let's go ahead and make it day, shall we? Wait, that's not the wrong right song. Okay, so now that we have um, skull necklaces, there's a mini game we can do here. Oh god, stay away from me. Let's talk to Danpa again. Hi, just so you know, if you ever have money issues, I give good financial advice. You can't talk to me anytime, chum. I may not look rich, but I've got plenty of cash. Okay, uh, so if you show him skull necklaces... Oh, sure, that's a skull necklace. I collect these things. How'd you know that? I can sell these things for huge profit at antique stores. Which reminds me, there's something I want to talk to you about, chum. Could you give me three of these? If you do, I'll let you play a really fun game. I guess. Thanks, chum. I'm happy to take them off your hands. Alright then, now I'll let you play my little game. It's called Piggy Sitting. I've let three pigs loose on the island. You have to bring them all back to me within two minutes. God, that overbite. You'd do a good job, or would you, for your trouble? Are you ready, chum? Absolutely. Alright, bring them all to me within two minutes. Start now. Ready? Go! Alright, we're gonna try to do this slow and methodical. Hey, piggy, piggy, piggy. Get out of the way, little girls. Alright, that's one. Bring them on back. I'm not sure what counts. Yeah, there we go. Oh, -ho! the first one arrives. You got 140 left, chump. There should be another in the direct vicinity. Yeah, there he is. Sneak up on this guy. That's simple enough. Bring him on back. Don't stop, never give up. Hold your head high till you reach the top. The second one shows up. Well, chum, there's only 123 left. Bring it all back to what you have got. Bring it all back to you. Yeah, I just made a, a, a very awesome reference. Alright, pig number three. Come here, you stupid pig. Alright, we have third pig, so now we just need to get it back in time, which should be simple enough. I guess this guy was concerned about his pigs, just wanted him to come back. Wow, you found the third one. Nice work. Well, chum, you win. Oh yeah, I guess a promise is a promise. Oh, you a little reward then, don't I? Alright, hold out your hand, chum. You got a treasure chart. This one is treasure chart number 42. It's one of the new treasure charts. Um, it'll lead us to an orange rupee at Gale Isle, which we've not been to yet. But still, cripes, how can my little piggies lose like that? You must be out of shape. Time for an exercise regiment. Things won't go so easy for you next time. So yeah, in the original game you just got a purple rupee for doing that, so there was no reason to do it really. Let's try this again. Oh, did you bring me another skull necklace? Did you give me three of these? Um, uh, I'm probably just going to cut to me winning this again, but I just want to make sure that the reward is still 50 rupees for doing it uh, more than once. Let's try. Alright, uh, I'll cut. 
All right, so I won again. Took a little bit more doing, but hey, four rupees. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's see if these uh, two girls, Potava and Joanna, have anything new to say. Or any new rumors. Oh no, not two rupees. Have some rupees. But they're still not going to tell us anything. Yeah, we would never tell you about the merchants with the huge backpacks who live on Bomb Island, Great Fish Isle, and, uh... Oh god, what's the third one? Uh, Bomb Island, Great Fish Isle, and... Wow, I honestly cannot remember. Oh, Mother and Child Doll. I hear they all think Zunery Shop is the greatest. Isn't that the weirdest? I don't see what's so weird about that, but whatever. How would they even know about that? Oh well, just gonna ignore that. So let's make a quick stop in at the potion shop and turn in some green chew jelly finally. How's it about? We'll also finally get to see Dot Bandan make a new potion. <gasps> Is that? Could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Mmm, aha! Ah! This is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Dude, just visit the uh, freaking Forest Haven. You'll find them everywhere. Perhaps it indicates a new breed? What a fascinating jelly development. I've never seen one of this particular hue on Poplar Isle, a small atoll famous for its robust chew population. But I digress, and the game is afoot. When it comes to making potions, I am a true artist. I've been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. Oh. Wait for it. Here it comes. Oh. That's it! Did he just have like an orgasm? Like that was intense. That's it! 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 That's, it. that's the sparkle I was looking for. That sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka! I'm going to use this chew jelly to create a brand new, unheard of kind of potion. It's been ten years since I began my now legendary studies of the chew jelly. I must begin mixing this new potion before my first new inspiration in years vanishes. Not sure what he's gonna. I like the hornet on his back. Is that supposed to be a Hylian hornet? All right, Walter White, get to it. Science, bitch. <laughs> that seemed to work, I guess. It, it's ready at last. My new chew jelly concoction. It's still piping hot, and I want you to have this first batch, my fellow jelly connoisseur. Awesome. You got some green potion. Uh, you can use it to recover your magic power. You can keep it in your bottle. La di do! My next project is to create a gripping advertisement for my new potion. You can back any time. Good luck with that. I don't know who else is going to have magic power. Magic power. So yeah, now that we have created green chew jelly, or green, green potion, he sells it normally. Hello, hello, and hello again. This is the chew jelly juice shop. We use only 100% natural chew jelly here, I assure you. So it's only 10 rupees. But let's go ahead and give them 5 more so we'll get another free green one. Yeah, we brought you two jelly. It's quite clever of you to be bringing such quality ingredients to me. I'll take 5 of them if you can spare them. And to thank you, I'll give you one free serving. Not a bad deal, no sir. I wonder how many potions he actually makes from the 5 though. For every 5 glops of two jelly you bring me, I'll give you one free potion. Come back after you collect more of that wonderful gooey potion making stuff. Alright, but unfortunately, if I had to guess, uh, we'll probably end up wasting that green potion. Alright, so now we have another uh, side quest we can partake in, but first... So anyway, you know that brick building at the top of the steps? Well, the gentleman who lives there has such class. Oh, I know! That mysterious pictographer, Lenzo, is so... dreamy. Oh, he makes my heart go a-flutter. But do you think the rumors could be true? Is he actually devoted to someone special? He just seems too serious about his work to be involved with somebody. The lucky lady! Who could she be? I wish someone would take a pictograph of the two of them together so we could see if the rumors are true. Oh, that'd be to die for! Wow. Oh yeah, so apparently we're going to have to capture this moment. No, no, no. If you wish to speak to me, please, I must insist you do so at the reception counter. Rules are rules. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. You're the young master who purchased my sale. At last, with those funds, I've been able to open my stall. But I hate to say that my poor little stall is not an instant success. 
In fact, it is rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have a wide enough lineup of products. For fine to be fully honest, I only have one product. Put it another way, I think my stall would do much better if only I could stock rare items that people can't get here in town. Yes, yes, that is what I need. Then I would make plenty of money. Not just plenty of money. It would be like taking candy from many rich babies. No, no, not even that. By running a prosperous business, I can play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, yes, that is the proper perspective. It's almost like he's using the uh, his volunteerism for the town to boost his business. But dear me, if only I had a young partner to help me out. A real go-getter. If only, right? Yes, yes, master. Now that I take a longer look at you, I see that you have a fine delivery bag, do you not? Dear me, it is a bag fit for a hero. Of delivery. I have a small request, and it requires the use of that bag. Oh boy, here we go. I'm out of here. No. <laughs> A request? Oh dear me! I knew it, young master! I knew you would understand my plight. It is a rather long-winded explanation, but please take the time to hear me out. Okay. My stall is kind of a general store that makes its money by obtaining rare products at inexpensive prices, and then selling them. With a reasonable markup, of course. <laughs> of course. However, because I have so few products to sell, the shop remains rather deserted. I will sell anything. I'm a master of the sale. I need just get some new products. Could you not seek out traveling merchants and negotiate supply contracts with them for me? No, no, no. Do not look so frightened. I say contracts, but it is just a word. You do not have to do anything very difficult. Okay. All I need for you to do is trade one of my products for a new product that the merchant has in stock. You see, among per merchants, a trade is proof of a contract. <laughs> imagine if that's how it worked in real life. I could imagine some serious shit happening. That is to say, it is the merchant's oath. That is what we call it. Yes, yes. Merchants that have sworn a merchant's oath will afterwards send their products to me. It is the way things work. So as you succeed in trading my products, my product lineup will increase. Do you understand everything I've told you? Not at all, but I'll just pretend. Yes, yes. Young Master, you are now my new salesman. No, no. Scratch that. Starting today, you and I are partners. Dear me, yes. Yeah, I doubt I'll ever see a single rupee of this business. I give you my proof of contract. In other words, this is my merchant's oath. Take it with you, my young partner. You got the ugliest flower in the world. No, uh, it's not that bad. It's a town flower. This flower hails from the town of Bright Smiles. If you find a place to set this rather small flower, choose your delivery bag and set the item. The first thing you need to do is take this to another traveling merchant and trade it for something. To build on the foundation of my merchant self. As soon as you trade, the merchants you traded with will send his products to my shop, thereby increasing my product line, which will make me quite happy. Well, your new trading partners, the traveling merchants, are waiting for you somewhere out there on the Great Sea. My dear, my expectations are high. Well, maybe you should lower your expectations, sir, because uh, I'm pretty sure the traveling merchants don't appear until much later in the game. Oh, man. Oh, they're still together. Okay, so in order to catch Linzo in the act... First of all, I don't know why these girls are so obsessed with Linzo. But in order to catch... Um, Let's see, first of all, let me change the wind direction. Probably should explain what I'm doing before I do it. Um, Alright, so you see that balcony above Lenzo's shop? Straight ahead? Uh, we can get there now. So we have to sneak in that way. Uh, we do it through the use of the Deku Leaf. Oh, jeez. If I don't fall off. So climb on up. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. And that should be good enough. Oh god. Awesome. Okay, we're in. Now it can cause all kinds of shenanigans. And yes, this leads to that uh, little hidden room. Wow, lots of rupees. Uh, the hidden room that we saw before uh, behind the Lenzo's uh, pictograph gallery. Lots of green rupees in here. Right, let's open this less valuable chest first. We got a purple ruby, worth 50, yay. Wow, our wallet's gonna be full soon. But more importantly, in this other chest is... A treasure chart. This one in particular is treasure chart 29. It's gonna lead us to a silver ruby at the mother and child piles. But in the meantime, we can crawl through here. This place is like... You could tell it. I like how they made it look like it's carved out of the wood. 
even though the texture is kind of bad. And I failed to point this out before, but there was actually a hole above the stairway in the pictography shop. And that's where this leads to. Oh wow, I never stopped right there. Oh look, we've got the uh, Windfall Island... Whoa, what is that? Hold on. Look at that frame up there. That's interesting. I know what that is, but I'm afraid to say what it is. Anyway. Oh, what is going on here? Allow me to think. Ah, yes. I first started searching for pictographs that recorded true beauty, oh, about ten years ago. How interesting. Huh? Who's there? What are you doing here? Were you trying to give me a heart attack? Oops. Okay, so let's get a uh, pictograph of this real quick. I'm not sure, but I think we may have needed to get it without their knowledge. We'll see. Hmm. And now that I think on it, just how did you get in here? Why, I never even noticed you. How do you think? What? I'll have you know, I've only come here to have him take a pictograph of my exceptionally beautiful skin. I've been a huge fan of pictographs for a long time now, so don't go taking this the wrong way. Okay, you stuck-up, conceited bitch. Of course you would only be seeing the pictograph man, so he would take pictographs of you. That would fit with your character. Alright, well let's see what the two uh, harpies have to say about this. Ladies, look what I got. Oh! This is... It's the pictograph, the photographer, Linzo, and that pictograph-loving lady. I guess we were completely wrong about Linzo having a girlfriend. Looks as though they're just old friends who happen to share the same hobby. Thanks for sending us straight, young man. We really should stop spreading idle gossip like that, do, do you think? You've taught us the error of our ways, and to thank you, we're going to give you something nice. Stick out your hand. Well, I guess that's kind of them. This one is treasure chart number 24. Uh, this will lead to a silver rupee at Northern Fairy Island. My naughty little boy found this somewhere. I'm sure you'll like it. I wonder which one is hers. Probably one of the killer bees. Well, I suppose we were all wrong about the rumors of Lenzo and his girlfriend. Well, I'm, I guess if you guys have learned the error of your ways, I'm willing to forgive you. Maybe. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's probably about all the time that we have for this video. Yes, we spent the whole thing on Winkle Island, but, uh, I mean, really, is that that big of a surprise? So, next time, well, I guess I can look at the Tingle Bottle before we get too carried away. I'll get this one, too. Two Tingle Bottles. Uh, that one's gonna be a spoiler. Go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I will catch you guys next time at the Scott Spot.